Welcome to this quick start video on the Honeywell XNX transmitter. These videos are intended to give you a quick step-by-step -step process for utilizing the many capabilities of this instrument. As always, refer to the manual for details and follow all safety recommendations. In this segment, we'll focus on the communication flexibility of the XNX universal transmitter. Honeywell XNX Universal Transmitter is one of the most flexible uh, gas detection platforms in the market. We have a standard 4 to 20 heart communication, uh, the ability to field modify to foundation field bus, uh, or to have internal relays. We've been through in previous videos uh, the functions for setting up uh, and programming the alarm relays and their functionality. In this area, we're going to concentrate on setting up uh, the variables uh, relative to, in this case, heart. Uh, the variables on the display would look different if you had an instrument that was uh, set for foundation field bus. So setting up communications parameters is uh, access through the configuration menu. As we've discussed previously, uh, default menus, uh, passwords are 0000, and configuration is a level 2 uh, requirement. So if once I've entered into the uh, menu structure, I want to arrow over to uh, my configuration submenu. And within this, uh, we've been through these videos before, the selection of language, setting date and time, etc. What I want to do is move down now uh, to my communications options. So in this case, uh, we're going to talk about our bus options. Again, if we had a foundation field bus card installed, uh, the screens are going to look different. In this case, uh, we've got the standard 4 to 20, but that includes a, a heart. Uh, so we're running hard over this platform uh, no matter what. So in this menu, we need to set up, uh, we've got the variables to set up, which would be ID. And again, as we scroll down, we end up with uh, our address function. As in previous uh, circumstances, we've got the area highlighted. If I enter that function, uh, we now enter it, and I end up establishing an a ID. And you can see that the variables available in this mode are 0 to 63, uh, scrolling across to accept those variables. And then, uh, in the next, you've got your ability to set uh, what kind of drop you're looking at. So there's either no heart if you're not using the heart information. Uh, if you've got a point-to-point -point strategy or a multi-drop strategy, uh, you simply toggle over to that uh, and then enter to accept. As with all these functions, uh, once you've got that functionality uh, selected, you always need to make sure that you accept it. So in this case, I want to accept uh, address 0 with a point-to-point. -point. Uh, I need to move over here to my check mark. I need to engage it, uh, and then now it's uh, it's set uh, accepted those settings. It's that simple. We now have the uh, we've now set our address uh, in a point-to-point -point heart uh, communication line. Thank you for watching these Honeywell XNX Quick Start videos. The Honeywell XNX Universal Transmitter is an extremely powerful and capable industrial gas detection platform, but it's very easy to configure and very simple to use. Remember, these videos do not replace uh, the manuals, and uh, you need to understand what's in, contained in those manuals and the safety warnings as well. Please let us know if these videos have been helpful, and if you've got ideas for other videos, please let us know that as well. Uh, we'd like to find out ways to help. Additional information on this product can be found at www.raco.com or at the Honeywell Analytics website. Thanks again.